Hi there, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start pages at a specific number in Microsoft Word. It's easier than you might think, so let's go. Here I have a document with just the standard lorem ipsum text. It's six pages long, so not massive, but everything I show you here you can apply to much longer documents. If you're working alongside of me, you want to show your formatting. To do that, come to the Home tab and then click on the Show Hide button. This will let us see all the stuff going on behind the scenes, so to speak, with the formatting of the document, which will come in handy in just a minute. All right, at the moment we don't have any page numbers on our document at all, but we want to insert some down at the bottom. I'll come up to Insert, and then over here, Page Number, bottom of the page. You could also do this at the top, it doesn't matter. And I'll just choose something really simple here, this one. So you'll see it's inserted our page number there. If I increase the size a little bit, you'll see page one, page two, and so on. Let me zoom out again so we can see multiple pages. And if you have a document that you just want to start at page one and go all the way to the end consecutively, this is perfect. But if you're watching this video, that's probably not what you need to do. You want to start at a specific number. You might have tried coming into Page Number and then Format Page Numbers, and here you do have the option to start at a specific number. So let's say you wanted to start at page 2 instead of 1. Update that. Again, I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see. This is our first page of the document here, and we're starting at page number 2. Zooming back out, this might be fine for what you need, you just need to start your first page at a different number, and then you're off and running. But for those of you who have something even more complicated, let's talk through that. Maybe you need to start the first page at a specific number, but then other pages at a specific number as well. So a common scenario is that you're going to print this document, and then you're going to bind it up with other documents coming from other places. Let's say pictures or charts or something that a coworker is giving you, and you need those page numbers in this document to be skipped, essentially. Let me make this a little bit more visual. I'll close out of the header and footer up here. So let's say what we really need to do, I'll insert a shape here just to keep track of what we're doing. This page, our first page, just add some text here. This needs to be page two. And I will increase that font size so you can read it. And that's perfect because it's already page two. We already fixed that. And then let's say this should be page three. That one's okay as well. But then after page three here, we're going to insert from somebody else, maybe a few pictures, two pages worth of pictures, let's say. So that means that by the time we get to this page in our binder, at least in our example, this page should actually be page six, because we're going to skip those two blank pages, right? And then over here, this should be page seven, and you'll see that it's page five at the moment. Now you might be tempted just to do something like this, come up here where the page number is matched, and then just hit return a whole bunch of times, or you could enter some page breaks and push things down, because now you'll see that the page that we need to be page six is actually page six, and page seven is how it should be as well. And obviously that works, but that's not the best way to do it. And if you're printing, say, 100 versions of this, you're going to end up with a lot of blank pages. So let me just undo that. Generally speaking, you don't want to just add a whole bunch of blank lines to fix formatting issues in Word. So let me show you the correct way to do this, and that's by using section breaks. I know section breaks can be a little bit scary, but just stick with me here. It's not as bad as you might think. A section break kind of says, Treat this section of the document as a separate document that's detached from everything else. So the page numbering can be different, the header and footer can be different, the margins can be different. It basically kind of unhooks you from the rest of the document and gives you more control over things. And that's exactly what we want for what we're doing here with the page numbers. So I'm going to put my mouse here at the very end of this second page, which is currently labeled page three, and then come up here to Layout, Breaks, and then down here to Continuous Break. You could also use Next Page. That's basically going to push you down to the next page. But since we're already going to the next page right after this line, we'll go with Continuous. And it adds an extra carriage return. I'll delete that. 
But over here on the right, you'll see this kind of dashed line. That is your section break. And you can't see that if you don't have this button selected. That's why I told you to select that in the beginning. And once this is inserted, it basically means everything after this break, you can kind of treat as its own document. You can update page numbers and margins and so forth. So if we click down into the footer now, I'm just gonna double click this area to open up the footer. Now we can come up to page number, format page number. And now we can say we wanna start at six. A little hard to see, but this is a six and that's a seven now. I'll click out of that or double click out of that. So we've got page two, page three. In our binder example, at least, there's gonna be a couple of pages inserted before that. And then this will pick up on page six, page seven. You could do the same thing anywhere else in the document. So come up to layout, breaks, continuous, and you can barely see it, but there's a section break here, which means the footer on this page, we could have different numbering as well. So coming back up to page number, format page numbers, maybe this one should start at say 20. You can do whatever you want. And there we go. So it's all about the section breaks and really treating the different sections of the document kind of as their own thing as far as page numbers go. Once you know how that works, everything else gets easier. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this content valuable, I have a lot of other Word videos in my playlist, so check those out and be sure to hit that subscribe button.